Hi there, welcome to today's vlog. This weekend is an insanely busy one for me. Uh, I'm in London most of the weekend filming for a carol service because you know we normally do jazz carols. <laughs> Well, we can't do jazz carols or the traditional carol service this year, so we have to do everything online, which means I need to go into London and I need to film loads of things, you know, the people doing readings and loads of other things that need to get filmed. And I also have to produce a jazz carol for part of this, which means I have to mix everything down. And then I've also got lots of other stuff backwards and forwards, uh, other mixes. And then yesterday, my trusted KRKs, or one of them anyway, that I've owned for nearly 11 years, decided to do this. Just exactly what you need when you have loads of mixing to do. So I've got on the phone, text a load of people I knew, can anyone repair these, can we go through? Because these were quite expensive when I got them, 11, 12 years ago, and actually no one repairs anything anymore. It's such a shame, and I haven't got time to start looking at it myself. I watched a couple of YouTube videos, I was like, oh, it looks a nightmare, and I have so much work to do. So I was just like, I've, I've, I've become one of those people. I'm like, okay, stuff it. I'm gonna have to order another one. And I've got to say, Amazon couldn't deliver anything until Sunday, Saturday, and I'm out all day Saturday. Uh, Studio Spares had nothing. Um, a couple of other places, PMT and all those sort of people, nothing there. But Gear for Music, well done. They were able to supply me with a new speaker within less than 24 hours. I ordered it at 3 p.m. yesterday afternoon, and it has just arrived. So I've got to do this recording on Sunday of Oh Come Are You Faithful. I'm not sure what the audio is going to be like up there on the roof. Last time when we did a thing up there, it wasn't great. So I may have to cheat slightly and overdub the sax. But what I do need is a sax guide part. So what I'm doing today is not shooting the final or recording the final audio video for it. I'm just going to do a guide track so that I know on Sunday I can put something in my AirPods and just kind of play along and get something that's sort of that <laughs> How good does that EV20 sound, even on a very rough mix? Um, 
yeah, very impressed with it. In fact, regretting not making the engineer last week on the live stream. Well, it's not a live stream, but on the Saffron Hall gig, not use that one. Speaking of changing gear around though, um, there is no way I am taking my Mark VI all the way up on the roof of Central Hall Westminster uh, on Sunday. So I've got my Yanni out for the first time in about six months. It's a phenomenal instrument, the Yanni, but the main reason is if the very, very, very worst happens, the Yanni can be replaced on the insurance. My Mark VI, yeah, <laughs> you don't want to run the risk of getting that or having to get that repaired. Oh, that's got some power. One second. My Mark Six is currently in the bath, but not with any water in it. It was just an easier way to store it when I was doing loads of work in here. I'm going to get my reflector. for a long time a Q&A so I thought we'd do a quick one just to finish off with today. Thank you to all of you for the congratulations for the 600th vlog, it was uh, amazing. Sorry we didn't do anything majorly exciting with any you know aeroplanes or cakes or anything else. Go back and watch the 100th vlog if you're not sure about the cake. Uh, Sax Cover says to me, uh, Yanagasawa Saxophone says, I have a summer Paris for five months today. I tested a Yanagasawa. I was surprised all the notes can be played without high effort. Well, I'm just discovering that on tenor this afternoon again. Uh, Mark uh, Flanagan, thank you very much. Because you've, uh, yes, Mark, yes, definitely a privilege. Thank you to Nesta, to Prince, to Jeffrey, to Jim, uh, everyone else who's put some stuff on there. It's absolutely amazing to see some things. Um, a few people have said about the Zoom Q4N. Um, I wouldn't buy it. I'd rather have a smartphone and buy a decent microphone for a smartphone. I don't think the Zoom Q4N is worthwhile getting. YTINF says Joshua Remen always travels with a Newman TLM Mono 3. Yes he does but it doesn't mean it's the right microphone for me because I'm playing in a much smaller room. I'm not playing in a concert hall. I did consider the Earthworks microphone which is one that Bramford uses. Um, the Rob Hunter told me about but I, and it was a lot more expensive than the EV20 and I'm really really loving this EV20. Quite a few people talking about the AnyTune Pro app and you know because you're on Android. If you go to their website I'm pretty certain there is a link to either the Windows version or the Android version, version for that. I guess you know it's just one of those things that was different way around. There is the amazing slowdowner if you need something to slow down or I use, still use Transcribe by 7th string um, on my Mac all the time. That's what I'm using constantly. I use that every single day. That and my email app and a browser are the three things I use the most. Uh, so anyway, thank you very much for watching today. I'm not sure how much I'll get in over the weekend. It's been nice to do two vlogs on two consecutive days. It's been a long time since I did that. Um, but uh, don't forget to make sure you are subscribing and give me a like. Uh, check out my last vlog here. This is what I was up to at this time last year. I'll be back with you very, very soon with some more saxophone. I'm hoping to be able to give you some video from Sunday, but we'll see what happens. It could be a long, long day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>